What's up guys, welcome back. So I'm out here at one of my local parks having a nice day, doing some editing, doing some shooting, and I wanted to make a video to show you the differences between the Set Power RV60D Pro and the RV45D Pro, which you will see right here. Now, I also wanna show you in this video the slide out system because this has become my full-time fridge in my truck. It literally never comes out of the truck. So let me show you how we, how we have that set up. I absolutely love that slide out that I just utilized to pull this thing out. Let's take a closer look. So here it is, and we're gonna take the 45 off of it to give you a better look, but you can see it's basically just a two-part system. It has a little lever on here, it locks in place, so when you're moving or driving, you don't have to worry about it sliding around. Pull that lever up, you can lock it halfway like that, or you can extend it the full the full length of the rack and I love the way I mounted this when my retract cover is closed when I have it all the way extended like this I can easily open and close my lid it doesn't hit the retracts cover I don't have to open my cover in order to open the fridge it just works out absolutely perfect so I'll actually give you a quick look at that and then we'll take the 45 off I'll give you you know an up close look at the slide system how it mounted to the bed and then we'll take a look at the two coolers side by side so you can see we have the retracts cover all the way closed. So we'll go ahead and push the fridge in, locked in place, bring it all the way back out, locks in place, and you can see I can open the fridge without it hitting the cover. I mounted it in the bed in that location for that reason specifically. I did not wanna to have to open my retracts cover every time I'm in and out of this fridge, because honestly, I use this thing a lot more than I thought I was going to. So as I mentioned, it stays in the truck full time. I, I literally use it almost on a daily basis um, for whatever reason, uh, you know, for whatever reason, whether I'm at a game for my, for my kids or I'm having dinner in the truck at work or whatever the case may be, I'm using this thing constantly. So I wanted it nice and convenient. So again, opens and closes without hitting the, the, the cover at all. When I'm done, slide it back in lock it in place. The other thing I wanna point out real quick is with the 45 Pro, it comes with the wheels and the extendable handle. If you saw my video um, on the fridge, the original video, I, I went over that. But I love the fact that you don't have to take the wheels and the handle off in order for it to fit on the slide. You can clearly see I have the wheels on, extendable handle works perfectly fine. I can leave it all like that. So if I am anywhere and I do wanna take this off and wheel it around, all I have to do is take these straps off, which we're gonna do right now. Literally come off in a matter of seconds. There's two more in the back I'll take off. We'll get the fridge off there. And we have now have a portable fridge that we can just go ahead and wheel around. We don't have to carry it anywhere. So I absolutely love that you can leave the wheels on the, on the fridge while it's on the slide system. So just like that, in a matter of seconds, we have the straps off. And now put it on the ground and we have a portable fridge so i know we're not on like really rough terrain but this is kind of gravelly with some bigger chunk rock and this 60 it's so convenient having both of them but especially this bigger one with those bigger wheels in the back you can see it easily wheels around even if i had it loaded down it's very convenient having those wheels on there just to be able to take it wherever you want to go Quick look at the slide system without the fridge on it. So you can see it has your tie down locations, three on this side, three on the back side there. That's where you put your tie down straps, obviously, to hold the fridge while you're in, in motion. Um, in order to mount it to the bed, you have different options here. Now, what you could do, if you don't mind drilling holes in your bed, all of these holes, and I'll put a picture on your screen so you can see what I'm talking about, you can use either self-tapping screws or you can use a bolt and go through and then put a nut on the underside of the bed if you can reach it, honestly. But I was not drilling holes in this bed. If you saw my video on my dual battery setup, you already know that. There are no holes drilled in this bed other than one back in the corner to feed wiring in through. So same thing with this. I did not want to drill holes in the bed. All I did was the same thing I did for my battery setup. I cleaned the area really well with the alcohol, the, the bed area, and then I used the heaviest duty double-sided Gorilla Tape that I could find. And the perfect part about it is the two sides, so this side here that has all your mounting holes, and then the other side as well, 
they line up perfectly with two of the raised areas in the bed. Okay, I'll, again, I'll put a picture on your screen. So it just worked out perfect. All I did was I cleaned the slide system really well with alcohol, cleaned the bed really well with alcohol, used a full piece. I have double-sided tape. Again, it's the heaviest duty double-sided Gorilla Tape I could find. There's a whole piece that goes all the way down underneath on both sides and then stuck it down lines up perfectly with two of these raised ribs in the bed and this thing is rocks like i could shake the truck with it it's not going anywhere i've been using it for I, I don't even know how long it's been in the it's been in the uh in the truck for at least i want to say three weeks or so no issues whatsoever it is not moving anywhere no holes are drilled in the bed so up to you if you want to get one of these slide systems which i highly recommend up to you how you want to mount it but that's the uh that's the route i went just so we didn't have to drill any holes the other plus side of that too is if i ever decide i want to move the location again it's only double-sided tape now it's really stuck on there it's going to take a little bit of you know elbow grease to peel that up but it's just double-sided tape it's not going to ruin the bed anywhere or you know for any reason if i do want to move this slide system to a different location in the truck bed all right, let's talk 45 versus 60, why you may want one versus the other or why you may want both. Now, as far as features go, they are literally the exact same setup. They're both dual zone. The only difference is even in dimensions, as you can see, the 60 is taller, so it has more depth. Height, or I'm sorry, width and length, they're identical. The only difference in dimensions is the 60 is taller. That's where you get the extra space from. Other than that, they are literally the same exact fridge. They have the same features that we're gonna talk about. Everything that applies to one applies to the other. My experience and how I've been using them, just so you know, I already mentioned the 45 stays in the truck 24 seven. It's plugged into my dual battery setup. Basically I keep in there waters, Gatorade for the kids, juice box for the kids. I keep lunch meat and bread in there in case I'm ever out somewhere and I'm hungry so I don't have to stop for fast food. You know, so I kind of just keep like basic stuff in the 45. As you'll see, it's got a lot of room in it. And it's also good for, you know, if you're just going away for a couple days or if you and your partner are going away for the weekend, something like that, the 45 is more than sufficient room wise, in my opinion. The 60, that, that extra depth comes in handy. Where I've been using the 60 is if my wife and I take the kids somewhere and we're going either for the day or for a weekend or whatever, then we'll use the 60 because it just gives you that little bit of extra room. The other time I've used the 60, I was actually gone away for three weeks for training for my job and it was a Monday through Friday. So I left my house Sunday evenings. I didn't get home till Friday evenings and that was three weeks in a row. So what I did was the 45 stayed in the truck with just my basic stuff, the waters and things that I mentioned, but the 60, I loaded up with food for the week and I put, I brought that up into my hotel room because I got the pro version that has the wheels and everything. I was able to take the 60, wheel it up into my hotel room. And I had basically everything I needed to get me through that Sunday to Friday stretch for three weeks in a row. That came in super handy. I didn't have to worry about going out for fast food or, you know, or, or having to run to the grocery store every couple days to pick something up. It was priceless. So that's the other way I've used the 60 with that extra room, um, you know, just how I've been doing it. So again, as I mentioned, feature wise, they're the same. So let me grab the camera off the tripod and um, you know, I'll give you a look at what they have to offer feature wise. And then you guys could ask any questions down below. All right, here we go. So 45, I'll give you a look. This is basically what I keep in it on a somewhat regular basis. Now there's no lunch meat because I actually just finished it. Um, you could see my garbage right there. Before I started making this video, I was hungry. So, but again, this is kind of what I keep in it. You know, you have your bread, your waters, some drinks. We have mayo. We usually have ketchup in here as well, but that's gone. There's a Gatorade in there. So plenty of room, you know, to keep stuff in there if you want to use it like I do, or as I mentioned, for a weekend getaway. Now, I don't have this one plugged in right now. We have the 60 plugged in only because I want to show you a couple features that is going to be much easier because I don't have anything in the 60 right now. Before we take a look inside, here is your main screen. And again, this is the same on both. Everything I'm gonna show you and tell you about the 60 applies to the 45 as well. So you have your main screen with your buttons here, your power button, dual zone. So as I mentioned, you can control each side individually. 
So you can see, I usually just use, I've been using them as just one big refrigerator. I haven't really used them as a freezer yet. So I have both sides set at 36, okay? So you can see that's how you would change the temp though, just with the plus and minus buttons like that. 36 is flashing, so that's what it's set at. When it stops flashing, you can see the internal temperature is 68 because we literally just plugged it in for this video. Over here, same thing. All right, so keep it at 36. Max and eco mode. Max is if you want to cool it down in a hurry. And these things get cold very, very quickly. That was one of the first things I noticed. Um, definitely impressed with the quality of the compressor and how fast they cool down for sure. Once you're at your target temp, or if you're not really worried about that, you just switch it over into eco mode by hitting your setting button. And then it's it's basically like a battery saving type thing where it's not gonna cool as fast, but I usually keep it in eco because as I mentioned, they cool down super quick and then that'll just kind of maintain. Another feature we'll talk about, spring-loaded handles. They're pretty convenient. Uh, obviously one on each side, then you have your extendable handle if you get the pro version, which I definitely recommend. The other features that the pro version comes with, extendable handle, the wheel setup, and hopefully you can see them, the little feet right there. So when you have the wheels and you set it on a flat surface, it stays nice and level. They literally just screw in and screw out. I could take the wheels and those feet off in a matter of, 45 seconds it, they literally come right off um, they're just screwed into the bottom of the fridge very very easy i just leave them on at all times but if you wanted to take them off for some reason they will come off extremely quick and easy all right now inside the fridge again we have this one plugged in they both have an led light you can see it on right there that one's not on because again we don't have it plugged in what i wanted to show you and the reason we have this one plugged in just to make it easier as you can see they're both set up the same you have your raised area over here your deeper area all on this side here it's the same thing on the 45 raised areas on the left side now if you oh they come with these baskets as well depending on which one you get you might get one basket or two i can't honestly i can't remember um i think i have like three or four of these baskets total um, but i'm just going to set those aside for right now this divider is what tells it to act as a dual zone what i mean by that is if we take this divider out so it just slides in and out on the grooves that you can see right there. So now if we come over back over to our screen, you can see that side now shut off. So now it's you're only controlling one temperature because you took that divider out. It automatically, the fridge senses that, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, if you take that divider out, one side will automatically shut off and then you're only controlling it via the right temperature controls. If you put the divider back in, you'll see both screens come back on and you can control your temps. Now, the only thing to keep in mind there is every time you remove the divider or not, um, or I'm sorry, every time you remove the, vi the divider or put it back in, your temperatures are gonna reset. So you can see the presets are 41 on the right side, zero on the left side. So if I took that divider out, this is gonna to go to 41. Once I put it back in, it's gonna to go to zero and 41. So just keep that in mind if you do take that divider in or out, make sure you reset your temperatures how you want them. Last couple features I wanna mention, they do, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but they do have a triple layer um, battery protection. It, it's in the settings. If you go in there, you can, there's three different settings, like high, medium, or low to avoid um, over draw on your battery. Um, they'll shut off if they sense your battery getting too low. We never have to worry about that with our dual battery setup, but if you're running it off your cranking battery, that's good to have. These lids are also reversible, so you can have it open from this side or flip it around and have it open from that side. It's extremely easy. There's just grooves that they slide. You can see these silver grooves. They're on both sides. So you just get it at the right angle. It'll just slide up and out. Then you pop it on this side and there you go. Your, your lid is now reversed. All right, so that's nice and convenient. Comes in handy. And then the last thing, it's something small, but I just want to point it out. They do also have a drain plug. So that plug will literally just pop out. Let me see if I can reach down in there. Just pulls right out. So if you spill something or um, you want to clean them out real good, you can just do what you got to do and then drain them out. Makes it super easy to keep them nice and clean. All right, guys, there you have it. The RV45 and the RV60D Pro 
from set power check these things out if you're in the market for a refrigerator slash freezer dual zone as i mentioned these things are awesome i've been blown away with the performance extremely low current draw on my battery setup i'm actually going to do a separate shorter video to, to show you how well these things run and operate on our battery setup and how much how little power i should say they actually draw so stay tuned for that it's going to be a shorter video that i just want to share with you because i could run these things for days and not have to worry about running out of power so any questions or anything you saw on the uh, in the video put them down below we'll get them addressed don't forget to use our discount code if you're in the market it'll save you some money and uh yeah thanks for watching as always appreciate it we'll see you on the next one